Hello. There are so many different diseases related to thyroid gland. It can be thyroiditis or benign conditions or malignant conditions. Malignant means it's dangerous. Benign means it will not trouble the patient for a long period, but suddenly, small percentage of patients, suddenly it can turn into malignancy. So, this Hertel cell adenoma, it comes under the benign group. Hertel cell adenoma is not common, it is rare. In this group, the benign group, the commonest is follicular adenoma. So, the, in the thyroid gland, the normal cells called follicular cells. These follicular cells, it traps iodine and from the, in the follicular cells, there are so many changes which takes place and it prepares for formation of thyroid gland, thyroid hormones. These normal follicular cells will degenerate or it can metaply, metaply it can undergo metaplasia. So that and it, it can undergo met, metaplasia and it and results in formation of Hertel cells. This is what happens. What causes this degeneration or metaplasia? The cause is not known. This is usually seen in elderly patients and more common in females. Coming to the patient complaint, they usually they complain that there is a small swelling related to the thyroid gland and they don't have any other complaint. No change of voice, no chronic cough, no breathing difficulty, no difficulty in swallowing. Only complaint is there is a small swelling which maybe they have noted accidentally. So, on examination, as they have mentioned, there will be a small nodule. Now we have to come to a diagnosis. We will start with thyroid function test, T3, T4, TSH, we will come as normal, followed by ultrasonography neck, where a nodule can be seen and almost in approximately 40 to 50 percentage of cases, we can say whether this is benign or malignant. So, we will put, we will do fine needle aspiration. We will put in a small needle into the nodule, aspirate, sent for cytological examination. There it will be reported as Cori Hertel cell adenoma. Why? Because with this cell study, it is not possible to differentiate between adenoma and carcinoma. Not only that, this Hertel cell which is formed, it can be seen in other conditions also, like colloid nodal goiter, Hashimoto thyroiditis or um, chronic lymphocytic thyroiditis, there is other name for it, post radio chemotherapy and follicular adenoma and carcinoma. So, you cannot make out the difference. So, if you want to make out the difference between adenoma and carcinoma, we need the full specimen. Why should we uh, need to differentiate? Because the treatment is totally different. So, to start with, we will tell the patient that we will do a partial thyroid chemo. We will remove the thyroid gland of that particular size, uh, side where you have the nodule and we will we'll see what is the report. Suppose it turns out to be follicular carcinoma, Hertel cell carcinoma. In that case, you have to go undergo completion thyroidectomy. Even the other side of uh, other side thyroid gland has to be removed. So, the treatment for Hertel cell adenoma is partial thyroidectomy. So, now when the biopsy report comes, if it is arterial cell adenoma, then no further treatment is necessary. No regular follow-up. You don't have to take Elthroxine lifelong. And other uh, treatment modalities of carcinoma, all the testing, nothing is necessary. So, this is how we deal with arterial cell adenoma. Thank you so much.